Um, you committed to OU, correct? Yes, sir. And uh, what made you want to be a Sooner? Oh, well, Oklahoma, it was different aspects. So, like, I was, my, my top two was down to UT and to Oklahoma. And, and Oklahoma had showed some aspects that I felt like it was good for me in different situations, even though for my position wise, UT has the, you know, the DBU, let's say, of football, which means their defensive back is home at UT. But the thing at OU, I feel that like I can build a D DBU there and, you know, be that kid that comes in, you know, start a foundation, you know, help build the defense up and get them back to the spot they were back then. What have you talked to the coaches about and, and you know, how do you feel like you're going to fit in the program? Uh, me and Coach Grinch, we talked a lot about, you know, just coming in, you know, being that guy, you know, just set the tone, you know, help the defense out, you know, get, learn from the older cats, you know, the dudes who've been there and just get the ropes around, you know, how to do this and how to do certain things. And he feels that I could be that guy to come in and set the tone for the defense. Um, do you see the Big 12 teams bring in the top tier talent, you know, for this uh, 2020 class and, and including OU and Texas. What do you think about, uh, or what do you think that says about the players uh, coming up as far as, uh, you know, how, how do you feel about that as far as all this top tier talent going there? I feel like the Big 12 is getting a lot of, you know, top Texas recruits. Uh, more likely they're going to get more a couple four four star or five star athletes coming in. I feel like Big 12 is really is getting up there with SEC and it's going to take over because the uh, competition level over there is pretty strong over there. Texas players and uh, OU, Kansas, all the new people are, uh, recruits that's coming in. I feel like there's going to be a, a big a big talent overall in the Big 12 that's going to be a, a lot of competition. Yes, sir. Have you talked to any of the guys you be starting with uh, at OU next year, and, and what's the buzz around the class between the players? Mm, I talked to a couple players. Uh, Bookie, Bookie Riley, he's a um, good dude. You know, he's a Nickelback up there. I talked to him, and I have a great friend. His name is Jeremiah Cordell. He came from um, Modern Day out in California. That's where I met him at my sophomore year. He's a great dude um, for uh, football-wise aspect. Coming in, they said, you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be a little challenge. You know, you gotta get used to the schedule, the classes. They said you can't get overwhelmed. You know, just take everything day by day. So the classes, just make sure you're on top of your grades. You know, coming early, not missing no no um, practices. You know, being on time for classes. They said just if you just focus and just relax, and like everything will go, run smoothly. This being the final season at King, what do you see the team doing this year? Uh, from the recap for last year, we went eight and eight and two in our district play, well, district overall. And I felt like this year, I know for sure, for sure, we can either go district champs because the competition we have this year is, is pretty good as well. But I felt like this team we have this year is even better and stronger as a team and as a unit, as each and each and one individual. So I feel like this year we can we can go pretty deep, pretty go pretty deep in. Yes, sir. What kind of legacy do you guys want to leave? For? Uh, the Sea King is not no pushover team. Like everybody doubted Sea King since day one. That you know, because of the kids we have, you know, the, the competition. Oh, we were five A coming to six A. We can't do it. But uh, if people expected us to like lose to certain teams, but I feel like you know, all, all the down talk about Sea King is not really true because we're a great team. You know, if all of us come together and play as one, we could be really special.